Hi, and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today, I'm going to reply to one of your questions, and that is, can you work with the machine vertical? Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, you can technically work uh, with the machine vertically, um, not in default, you will need to toggle off uh, one setting, uh, but I would highly not recommend to do so if you want to continue have your machine working properly. You will understand in a while why I am saying not to uh, perform any kind of job uh, with the machine in a vertical position. Um, so, most laser engravers uh, especially the one from Nege, they come with tilt protection. So that means that uh, if you happen to incline your uh, laser engraver uh, while it's uh, actually working, the engravings or the project anyway will stop. And that's a protection uh, to avoid that the machine keeps on working if eventually it uh, drops off from the desk. So, in order to be able to work vertically, you will need to toggle off this uh, uh, tilt protection and I will show you exactly how you can do that. Alright, here we are on my screen and this is the Nege desktop application. Uh, to disable the tilt protection or tilt control, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, when you are over to the control tab over here, uh, you just click on the clock wheel. This will show up a bunch of settings. Um, I've showed you how to work with all of this uh, in my in one of my previous videos. I will link it in the description below. Uh, anyway, on the second group, you can see we have sensitivity uh, of tilt detection. So uh, normally this is on low, so we can just take this down to off, and basically then you uh, can work in whatever direction uh, you wish to. So we can now make a try. All right. By the way, if you want to know how you can use uh, custom fonts in your Nigeria desktop application, I've uploaded a video a few, a few days ago. I'll put this in the description below so you can have a look on that. So as you can see, working vertical is doable and uh, setting up it's pretty straightforward. Once you toggle off the tilt protection within the settings in the Nege desktop application, you're basically good to go. However, I want to uh, re-emphasize once again that I highly recommend not to do so. I mean, not to work uh, with the machine in a vertical fashion. And that's because uh, I mean, regardless of the multiple problems that you might encounter, uh, the most important one is something that I've been showing you on my previous video, where I've showed you my problem, uh, the problem that I've encountered with my laser module, which burned out. So basically, um, at least speaking of the Nege uh, machines, uh, they do not have any kind of protection against uh, current reversal uh, that means that basically moving the axis uh, will generate uh, power and this power is going back into the motherboard and into the laser engraver 
So, uh, if you happen to be working vertical and while you're working you've got some power loss, for example, or you power down the device without uh, taking care of uh, gently uh, bring down the whatever axis happen to be in the vertical position, uh, you might end up burning some of the components, one of which the most expensive one is the laser module as it happened in my machine. So I really recommend not to do that. But uh, if you have a machine that comes with uh, uh, current protection and you really need to work in a vertical position because I don't know of space constraint or any needs that you might have for that. Uh, bear in mind that this is feasible uh, you just need to have some extra care in how you place the machine. For example, the machine should not be uh, perfectly vertical. Uh, you better have the machine at some angle from the vertical. Let's say five, de five degrees from the vertical should be good enough. Also, the other thing is that uh, in order to have the uh, workpiece um, in a stable position, you will need to clamp it down or if it's something light, like in my example, you can basically use some tape to hold it up even from the top so basically it will lay down on the surface then. Uh, the other thing that you want to keep in mind is that you won't be able to perform any cutting because you most probably will end up with a big mess as gravity pulls down. And uh, the final thing is that you won't have the tilt protection anymore so if the machine is not properly and firmly fixed in that position and it happened to topple down uh, the machine will the machine will basically keep on engraving and you will end up with uh, some mess you can you could also end up with catching on fire so that's something that you should uh, keep in mind all right and that's pretty much all I hope you found this video helpful if you liked it click the FAMBA button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now!